Hey guys, it's Talia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So for today, I'm super excited because I just got my January 2020 Planner Kate kits. Super excited, let me tell you. Pull these out. So let's just go ahead and go straight into it because I really want to see these kits. So let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit for you. All right, as always, we have the Planner Kate business card, the Planner Kate sticker. The freebies that I got this time are some habit trackers, some inkwell press dots, some Manny and Petties, some more pencils, and then some two-toned um, appointment labels. So there is that. All right, so the first thing, it's not actually a kit. This is just an extra sheet that I picked up, and it is F. 3-42 and it's just some therapy script stickers there is that okay so as always i start off with the kit that i'm going to use for the monthly and i picked kit 190 j and it is this super cool 2020 like super like vibrant i shall say very bold 2020 kit for january and there's that okay so these are the new Oh snap, I just felt it. These are the new kits. Okay, hold on, let me zoom out just a hair because I think I just noticed a couple of things. Okay, so the first things first that you will notice is that you have a ton more script stickers. So you have a whole bunch of day offs. How many? One, two, three. So you have nine day off stickers. You have six payday, six, 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 six sick day, three no school, and then six bill due. So you still get the date dots, you get some of the appointment labels, and then, so that's January, and then 2020. But the thing I just noticed is that the days are no longer attached to the top sticker. So these are kind of going back to her old format before it was, you'd have to lay down the days and then the top sticker. Um, one of the reasons I can assume that this is being done is I know a lot of people wanted it instead of being a Sunday start, a Monday start on their monthly calendar. If you guys watch uh, Playing With Lakin, Lakin does that on her monthly spreads. She changes it from a Sunday start to a Monday start. So I don't know if that's a reason that some people were wanting that. You do still get the two strips of washi. Let me actually see if I can find an old one. Here's my sticker book. Let me... That way you guys can get an idea of the difference. In case you're not familiar, um, but okay. So this is the one that I'm using for December. So as you guys see, this one has the stickers, the days attached to the top sticker versus now they aren't. Um, you do get more stickers at the top and there, as you can tell the difference, the font is different. So this is, at least for me, this seems to be the font that Kate has been using recently um, versus this, which is a little bit older, but it is a lot more colorful. So if you guys wanted colorful, you know, these kits are not going to have that this time around. Um, but if you're like me, you'll probably have a ton of these left over, so it's a good time to use them. Okay, so that's the first sheet um, of the monthly kit. And then I did pick up 200K, which is the second sheet. So it looks like this will now fit the monthly planner, which good thing I have a planner right here. <laughs> that way we can check it out. All right. So yes, based off the sizing, this will now fit the entire um, side right here versus her current ones. Like they end like right here. So you have like a gap. You still have the two sticks of washi. This is, is this different ones? Oh yeah. Oh, no sorry clock um so these are just the extra days in the month you'll just cover those up and then you get some more appointment labels some asterisks which i'm not the biggest fan of asterisks in general and then just some blank um stickers so there is that okay i'm excited to use this i'm excited to see how it works although i already have issues as it is with the days attached to the sticker so this should be a new a new fun time for me to <laughs> figure out how to lay those down. Okay, so there is that. Um, oh, and let me, I guess, quickly just show you. This is what the old, oh, sorry for that, got 
blurry, but this is what um, the current second sheet looks like, so pretty much um, the same thing, okay? All right, so I do always get the matching weekly kit, and this is 200C, and I picked up the headers as well. The font on the headers has changed as well, so keep an eye out for that, um, as well as the numbers. So there's that. Okay, so this is the kit. Um, it's very similar to the older one, so you do get the two strips of washi. You do get this, I call it the quote box sticker. Um, hold on, let me pull an older one for reference. It's just easier to do that <laughs> than, um, okay, so let me quickly show you. This is the new headers. Bottom is the old headers. So you can tell that the font has changed a little bit. So there's that. Okay. So this is a current kit. As you can see, here are the differences. So like I said, you do get the two strips of washi. You get the quote boxes. The weekend stickers are different. You have this really big um, calligraphy. I don't even know how to, how to describe it, but it's just a big weekend sticker. Then now you just have this one banner. Um, the Sticker kits prior to this current edition had asterisks. These took them away. We have some more asterisks coming back. We have a lot more labels, just plain labels. You do get your um, script sticker, so don't forget, no school this week, things like that. Once again, the font is different. So the current ones have a lot more color in them versus these, these are just very, very simple. Um, which, would, which is nice. Like I said, if you have leftover stickers like I do, you could use the colorful ones if you're not the biggest fan of these. You do get the appointment boxes. You just get a lot more. You don't get these colorful, like these boxes. I think you can buy a separate add-on for those. And then you do get the icons, and it seems like she brought some back. Um, so... The trash is back, the TV is back, the car is back. And I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. So there is that. So there's the differences if you wanted to see kind of together. Um, I've mentioned this before, I'm not too certain. I think it's just a new, a new layout that you have to get used to, new types of stickers, you know, because now you don't get these check boxes, which I haven't been using in a while, but you do get check, check boxes if you are a check box person. If you want them for your new kits, you'll have to pick them um, up as an add-on as well. So just keep that in mind. So there is that. So I try to pick up different things. Um, so the next kit I got was 207C. It's this fun, I don't I'm not, don't know if this is supposed to be trees. I think of them like birthday hats. Um, so it's like very snowflakey black and blue. I think it's cute. I did pick up the header um, because a lot of them aren't, Unless I can't, rem I'm not remembering correctly, but I feel like you had to pick up the the headers for all of them. I don't know if they had like the second sheet like um, the previous kits did. And then I went ahead and picked up 207C, so just the thick washi. If you guys have been watching my November plan with me's, I've had a couple of these thicker washies and I've really enjoyed using them. So I'm gonna see if this is kind of something that I wanted to start incorporating. Uh, since I'm gonna start switching up, I think how I order my kits now. So that's just a tester. Um, I did pick up 203C. There's that, what the side looks like. Okay. And then also picked up the headers. Um, I picked up 205C. So there's that. This one's very simple. And then I picked up the headers as well. Uh, so there is that. I, I would say that outside of the like to the 2020 one. I didn't feel like any of the kits like super stood out to me. Um, okay, maybe this next one was probably the most out of all of them. This is 201C. I thought it was super cute. Look at the quote box, cold hands, warm heart. Um, she's adding a lot more of these. If you pick up the half boxes and full boxes, um, it looks like she's adding a lot more boxes that have um, images in them. So I think for this kit, there's one image that had like boots, one with a coffee cup. Um, so I thought it was pretty cool, but I do like this. I like the color on this. And then I also did pick up 201N, so just the headers as well. 
Um, and then last kit, I actually picked this up as an extra, and this is just 206C. This is the ski one. I don't know how to ski. I've never been skiing, um, but I thought it was adorable. Um, I picked up the headers as well, but I picked this up because I wanted to lay some of the stickers down just to kind of see what they would look like. I mean, they're stickers, so you're like, oh, they're going to look the same, but it's just nice to kind of have an idea of how they're laying, what, you know, what they look like and things like that. So that is what I'm going to do. But the best thing about it is even though this is an extra kit, I can repurpose it because um, her stickers come up really easily. So I'm just going to quickly lay some things down because I also don't want this to be like a full blown plan with me since I'm just showing you guys what I hauled. But I do want to show you guys the stickers. All right, so those are down. Now this, oh no, I already took off one of these is a lot shorter and thicker um, than her current one. Okay, let me try it the way. I normally, when I lay my sticker down for this portion, I normally go to the second line and that's what I measure it against and that's the easiest way to get. Yeah, perfect. And it covers it up. It looks a little beefy. <laughs> it's not even a thing. Okay. Here is the weekend sticker. I'm not the biggest fan of how this is. I liked the other one, but it's okay. So there's the weekend. Okay. So these are some like flag stickers, I guess. So these aren't as big as the time slot. In case you guys are wondering. There we go. So those are the ones right here. Well, these these should although these look a lot thicker <laughs> um, than the regular ones so yeah so it's just a hair smaller than the actual box okay that looks about the size okay This one, same, just a hair um, smaller, not super noticeable. See, the, these are the decorative boxes. Okay, not bad, that one fits. Okay, and then this one is that one right there. So let's see how many, yeah, this looks, like a perfect fit to take up two hours. That's nice. Okay. These kind of look like the conference call stickers that she has. And this one will also take up um, a two hour block as well. And then pretty much all of the other ones are the same. Um, I mean, outside of the font difference. Oh, they do feel, they do seem a little bit bigger. Or maybe it's just because <laughs> it's, some of it is in capital letters. So there's that. Um, and then I'll just use one of these so you can just see what this looks like. So yeah, so that is how some of the, the new stickers are looking in the planner in case you were curious. Um, so it seems that outside of this flag sticker, everything else pretty much fits in the box. All of the thinner stickers are about an hour and then the, t the thicker ones that are at the bottom, the bigger ones are here. Those take up two hour slots, in case you were curious. So yeah, so that is everything that I picked up from the Planner Kate um, January kit release. Let me know down below, did you guys pick things up? If so, what is your favorite? Um, and also let me know how you guys are feeling about this kit as well. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.